Hey guys, it's me again. Bounce that ass and drop that ass and pop it like a shootout. I pull them panties down, he's smiling like they bought the food out. I hop up on their face and make my hips go like a luau. I showed you I'm a gay And today, I'm back with another video. So today I'm gonna be packing orders. I'm gonna be telling y'all story time about something that recently happened to me like two days ago with my vendor and how my vendor is basically canceled because this lady had me bent like really really bent like i can't believe what she said so okay today i have a couple of orders i have three orders today and i have some more to fulfill but um basically let me tell y'all what happened so i know on the last video i told you guys how i found these lip gloss tubes how i found these lip gloss tubes and i was so excited like y'all I was so excited and you guys oh my god it's really embarrassing what this lady told me like oh my god there is a bug inside of this tape like dead inside the tape oh my god can y'all see that i should sue them i'm not using this roll because what the heck gonna get to the next row okay this one's clear okay so let me tell you guys what happened so basically i found these lip gloss tubes from this vendor and the price was just amazing i should have known that that it was fake like i should have known because the price was way too good for the amount of tubes she was trying to sell me like let me even tell y'all and i know someone's gonna be like cassie you're an idiot but look i really thought i had found the world's best vendor so this person ordered lash style passion so let me get that for you okay so basically the person the lady had told me i could get 300 tubes for 135 dollars and for me i'm like 300 tubes for 135 dollars like that's the best deal i've ever heard in my entire life like business cards i've never heard getting that many tubes for that low price like I was like really, really excited. Like, oh my God, I'm about to get all these tubes for this price. And you know, it's not spending a lot of money. Like I was excited. And then the lady was acting weird. Like on Alibaba, I prefer to tell the vendor to make, to make the payment link. Like I don't like to see an item and then start an order by myself. Like I want them to make the order for me so it can be the exact price and I'm paying like what they told me. Cause when you talk to a vendor, they could like lower, like sometimes when you go on Alibaba, it'll say the shipping to America is like $40. But if you talk to the vendor, they can be like, oh, we'll ship it for $25. So if they make the payment link for you, they can put $25 for shipping. If you start the order by yourself, it will say $40 for shipping. So I always tell the vendors to make the payment link for me so that, you know, I could pay the right price. So the lady she was acting like really like kind of sketchy now that i'm thinking about it like when i had told her to make the payment link and she was just taking a like a long time to make it like it literally took her three days to make the link when it should only take you 25 seconds like it's not hard to make a payment link so i that should have been the first red flag but i was just thinking oh maybe because she's busy so first when i first contacted her she was like they don't get back to work until february 23rd or something like that so when i had first wanted to place the order that was like february 17th i wanted to place the order but she was like oh they're not at work yet on the 23rd she'll message me when they're back in the office so i was like okay you know i'll wait till the 23rd for you to message me so i can like start so you guys can start processing my order so all this like time she finally made the payment link i paid for it and i was basically just waiting for her to send it to me so you know, I'm ordering lip gloss tubes. That's not something you have to make. That's just you counting out the tubes and putting it in the box. So it was like a whole week had passed and I never got the tracking number. And when I had messaged her the last time, she said, oh, we're packing it up now. We'll send you a tracking number in the morning. So this tape is nice. I was like, okay, you know, tomorrow I'll get the tracking number. Tomorrow comes, I texted her when I woke up. No, I stayed up till like 
3 a.m. Because 3 a.m. is like 12 p.m. for them. So I, I didn't stay up. I went to sleep and I had like an alarm to wake me up. So I could message her when it's morning time for her so she could send me the tracking number. And I messaged her. No response. Like I'm just sitting there waiting for her to respond to me like, um, hello, we're at the package. And I messaged her like three times like, hello, hello, what's the tracking number? Because, you know, I have a business to run like... I've been planning to restock my lip glosses for like a while now. Like I've been searching for the right tube for like a while. And this lady had the audacity to message me this long paragraph talking about, I'm sorry to inform you, your lip gloss tubes fell off the airplane. Like what? The tube fell off the airplane? Excuse me. Like, I'm, I was like so confused. I was like, what do you mean it fell off the airplane? And she was like, during the transit, um, the the plane door, something opened and the tubes fell out. So I'm, I'm like, so you're telling me the plane was flying in the sky and my lip gloss tubes, only my tubes fell out of the airplane. Seriously? Like, do you think I'm stupid? Like, you were trying to scam me. Like, you knew damn well you never had those tubes. That's why you was acting sketchy when I was asking you for the payment link and you took 12 years for you to like give me the, the um for you to make the payment link and then like i was just i was like so upset because i'm like first of all my tubes should have been here this week because i go to i go on spring break next week i go home and i was planning for while i'm at home on break because we have like a few family outings and after that we're just going to be at home so i was like the days we're at home i'll be making lip gloss for my business so like when i come back from break on the 25th was the day I was planning to have my restock and everything was supposed to be back on my website. And I'm just looking stupid because this lady trying to tell me my lip gloss tubes fell off the airplane and she's lying. Like she never had, she never had the tube that she was trying to get over on me with my money. Like, so then I was like, I was like, okay, like what tubes do you have then? Like if the style I want it is out, do you have it like in another color or something? And she was like, no all the tubes like all the tubes for this like particular style fell off the airplane and i was like so all the tubes i want fell off the airplane and all the tubes i don't want you still have like what and then she started sending me all these links of the different tubes they offer and stuff and i was like lady i don't want any of the tubes you're showing me right now like this this isn't what i signed up for i don't want any of this stuff and then she was like, if you give me one to two months, we can produce more tubes. I was like, you're out of your mind. You are out of your flipping mind. If you think, package number one, if you think I'm about to wait two to three months or one to two months for you to produce more tubes for me, like, no, I'm not doing that. Like, just admit you, you were trying to scam me. And that's just that. Like, she legit tried to say, she was going to produce more tubes in two months. Like, no, I was not about to wait for that. Oh, shoot. So this person ordered one of my palettes. In case you didn't watch my other video, this is my palette. So I'm keeping in the bubble wrap just so it can be extra safe. So she ordered a palette and I'm giving her a free gloss because she is a makeup artist. So I want her to wear all of my products when she takes her pictures. So I'm going to send her a gloss too. And if you are a makeup artist and you want to try out my palette, I'm giving you a discount if you're a makeup artist to review the palette. You get 25% off. So the palette's $23, so you would only pay $17. So just DM me on Instagram if you're interested in reviewing my palette. It would be greatly appreciated. I'm going to give her two business cards. Y'all, Frostbite is literally my best seller besides Flutter. And... This girl is really getting lucky because she's getting one. This gloss has been sold out for like two months. Like this is gloss is literally the best gloss I ever made. So yeah, she's getting one of those with two business cards. So yeah, let me finish the story. So I was like, I messaged the lady. I said, should I put confetti? Yeah. I messaged the lady back. And I was like, okay, I would like a refund then because this is definitely not what I signed up for. And um, I want my money back. And she tries to tell me um, we can't refund the money right now. I said, listen, lady, if you don't refund my money, like, my, like even if you don't want to refund it, my bank is going to give it back to me whether you like it or not. So you're better off refunding it. Like, 
Oh my god. I'm terrible at these. I look like oh my god, this looks so bad. Well, at least it's secure. I was like, you have to resell my money. Like, you didn't you didn't ship the package um when it was supposed to be shipped. Then you told me it fell off of an airplane. Like you just you started making up all types of lies. So you know I want my money back. And I filed for because on Alibaba you can um you can request a refund for your money. And I requested the refund and this lady tried to decline it. Like I was just I'm like when I tell you guys this weekend I was pissed. I was like, how are you gonna decline me getting a refund? But you're the one. Oh my god, I forgot to put the packing slip. Dang it. This is what happens when I'm talking. I just wasted money printing this out for no reason. I'm sorry, we're cutting this open because she's getting the packing slip. Thank God I have a lot of these mailers. And this one was ugly anyways. I take I put it down ugly. So it's okay. So she didn't want to give me a refund. She declined, she declined my request for a refund. And I was like getting upset because I was like, how are you gonna decline my request when you're the one that lost like broke my tooth? What are you talking about? Like, I was getting so mad. I, I had called my bank. And the bank was like, give us 12 hours and you will receive your funds back. And the lady got scared. Then she finally accepted my agreement after I told her that I told the bank, whatever. And then I was like, I hope you know I'm leaving you a terrible review on your shop. And I hope no one ever shops with you again because you are a terrible person. Like, she is literally a terrible person. And I genuinely hope, like, if y'all read reviews on your vendors, if you come across this vendor, you will see a terrible review and just know it's from me because this lady literally tried to tell me my tubes fell off the airplane. Like, girl, if you're going to lie, you're going to need to come up with a cre more creative lie than that because that lie makes absolutely no sense, number one. It fell off the airplane, like, seriously? Like, when I tell y'all, I was so upset. Like, I was like, is this what people really go through? Like, people, like this has never happened to me with a vendor, like... Every vendor I've worked with has never tried to, like, steal my money or anything. Like, this literally never happened to me before. So, I didn't even really know how to react, to be honest. Like, I was so confused. But, y'all, as of right now, I don't have any tubes coming. I haven't ordered no new lip gloss tubes. Because I'm, like, at this point, I'm scared. Like, I'm genuinely scared to order again. Because I just can't deal with people trying to steal my money. Like, I worked hard for this money, honey. You was not finna try to get one over on me. Like, no. You're not about to do that. I'm taping this package so ugly. This is my first time using these type of mailers. So taping is hard on here. This looks so bad. But yeah, so I haven't ordered any more tubes yet. I'm literally considering getting these tubes back again. Because this vendor, I trust them. Like, my stuff came in three days. So it's like, at this point, I might as well just go back and get my old tubes. At least I know they won't try to tell me it fell off of an airplane. Like, it'll be good. So that's really what I'm I'm working on right now is trying to get tubes because I need lip gloss. Like, my lip glosses are literally one of my best sellers. Like, the palettes are actually selling really good to have just dropped them two days ago, I think. Yeah, they came out on Friday package number two and this other person ordered a palette as well so and she's also getting a free gloss because she's a makeup artist as well and she's gonna review my palette two business cards for you so yeah that vendor really had me bent guys i don't know what to do i'm scared to try to talk to another vendor an update on my lashes i don't even know at this point they said they're still working on it so i hope they finish it soon i don't really think my design was that complicated for them to be taking this long but i guess they keep saying they don't have that many workers and i'm just like did you fire everyone like i don't understand how you don't have workers but you're still accepting orders if you know you don't got workers, do not be accepting all these orders that you know you can't fulfill. Like, that's the only thing I don't understand about these Chinese companies. Like, 
they swear they don't how about to say before i forget to put the packing slip in they be swearing they don't have any workers in their shop but they're still taking orders like why y'all accepting orders if you can't fulfill them like that's the only thing that's pissing me off like i have a business to run but yeah that's the story of how my vendor got fired like she's fired can't sold never working with her again i don't care if she tries to give me two for free like, no because she really tries to scam me because i'm a i'm a teenager you think i'm not smart like girl i i really can't believe she tries to do that but yeah the bank refunded my money last night so once i decide what tubes i want I will place my order with another person. And I'm really sad because I'm not going to get the tubes I wanted. Because I haven't found another vendor that offers those tubes at a good price. Like all the other vendors with those tubes. They're trying to give you 100 for for $100. Like, that's not good. I was getting 300 for 135 Like, it's really sad. But yeah. That's my story time, guys. This is the last order for today. I should have did these on TikTok because I've been posting little TikToks of me packing orders. But I guess I can do one with my next order. But yeah, guys, tell me what other types of videos you want me to do on here. Because I am trying to be more consistent. And this is consistency because look, this is another video that's about to get posted. So, consistency. Oh, and what else happened? Tell me why the pouches for my lip gloss, they was like it got damaged in transit too. I was so mad this weekend like it's like everything was going bad but they told me they shipped me out a new package and i'm waiting for the tracking number because look i mean if i don't receive that package i'll be sad because like i really wanted to sell starter kits but it was only 14 dollars i spent on the pouches so it's not like i really lost a lot but that's still money i could have used for something else package number three so yeah Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and tell me what you want to see on my channel. And I'll definitely bring that to you guys. So yeah, that's it for today. I will update you guys whenever my lip gloss tubes. I'm actually supposed to receive a package today from TKP Trading. It says it's delivered, but when I went to check my mailbox, it wasn't there. So I think I'm going to get it at 4. I'm sad because I wanted to add this in this video. But I might just insert a clip whenever I get the package and open it and just add it in. So y'all can see what I got. But yeah, this is it for now. Love you guys. Peace.